Welcome to the MH2801 video segment on Loran series expansion. Now to understand why we need to develop a different series expansion for functions of a complex variable, first let us recall. First let us recall the definition of a Taylor series expansion for a function. So this Taylor series expansion of course can be defined for functions of real variable x but it also can be defined for a, fu a function of a complex variable z. So if we want to develop the Taylor series expansion of f of z at z0, okay, the, the, it, we first have to write down the function value at z0, and then a linear deviation away from z0, which is proportional to the first derivative of f of z at z0, and then a quadratic deviation from z0 that is proportional to uh, the second derivative of the function f of z at z0 and so on and so forth. So in a sense we see that this is a, the most, a more general version of the Euler approximation of a complex function at z0 and this form we should remember the, the form of the uh, Taylor series expansion. Of course we can to, in order to motivate the, the Laurent series expansion, let us write this as let us write this as a zero plus a one z minus z naught plus a two z minus z naught square and so on and so forth. And in general, the nth order term will be a n z minus z not to the uh, z not to the n not to the square and so on and so forth now uh, if you if I if you give me a if you give me a um, function of a complex uh, variable f of z and you, and I know that uh, it has a Taylor series expansion about uh, z not then I know that this function is regular at z not or we can say that it is analytic or analytic at z0 and for a function that is analytic about z0 and also so if, if f of z is analytic about a small neighborhood Oops. of z0, then of course we can apply the Cauchy integral theorem. Okay, now what if, what if f of z is not uh, analytic? Then uh, is there some kind of a series expansion that we can develop about z0? And the answer is yes. In fact, uh, we generalize it to uh, the this is called the, this is the generalization of the Taylor series expansion for uh, non uh, non analytic functions about z naught uh, and it's particularly useful for functions where the singularities are under known and understood so let's see that uh, say write first first write down the definition of the Laurent series expansion which is f of z equals to, first I'll write down a naught plus say a1 z minus z naught but there's also another term here that is a to the minus 1 okay, Ooh, this is squeezy so a to the a to the minus 1 z minus z naught to the minus 1 and then if we write down a term like a2 z minus z naught squared Okay, there will be also a corresponding term that is uh, a minus 2 divided by a z minus z naught squared and this in principle can extend both ways. So it extends to positive infinity and also can extend to negative infinity. So if we write this then in the summation, con sum summation notation as n going from negative infinity to infinity of a n z minus z naught to the n this will be the Laurent series expansion of a function f of z so if uh, f of z is uh, analytic at z naught then 
you have for C is analytic at Z0, then AN will be equals to 0 for all N less than 0 if F of Z is analytic. So that means that the, uh, the Laurent series expansion uh, is automatically the Taylor series expansion for a uh, analytic function. But of course, we are interested in cases where a n is not equal to 0 for all n less than 0. That means it's actually singular at z equals to z naught. Okay? But more importantly, how do we, how do we evaluate these um, uh, expansion coefficients in the Laurent series? Uh, for the Taylor series, we understand that. So let me go to a fresh page. So for the Taylor series, we understand that a n is equals to 1 over n factorial f to the nth derivative, the nth derivative of f uh, evaluated at z naught. Now what about for the Laurent series expansion? Because uh, the function, because the function is not analytic, so f of z is not analytic at z naught. Uh, that means that you cannot define the, the the derivatives do not exist. So the derivatives do not exist. So how then we can how do we then find how do we then find the uh, expansion coefficients for the Laurent series to to see to see how this is to how to see how these coefficients can be even defined in the first place uh, let us recall that so let me change color let us recall that let us recall that the nth derivative the nth derivative of f of z, if it is analytic, uh, is defined as n factorial over 2 pi i, okay, a closed contour integral f of z divided by z minus z naught to the n plus 1. So you should have read about this in the reading. Uh, this is a generalized Generalize a uh, Cauchy integral formula, and this relates for the one part for the one one hand on the one hand the derivative of a analytic function to a closed contour integral about that point. So the here what happens is that here we we can choose a closed contour that encloses the point z naught, okay, and of course along this contour f of z is analytic. So let us write it down. So f of z is analytic along c. And that is all that is necessary for us to be able to make the connection between <coughs> the derivative of a function, the nth order derivative of a function at z0 and a closed contour integral about that point. Uh, the integrand function is, has to be modified by dividing it through uh, by z minus z naught to the n plus one power. Now, this is the this is an amazing relation between a derivative and an integral. Now, in order to define the expansion coefficients a n, uh, let us assume that the the contour integrals are more fundamental. That means that you know for non-analytic functions, let's define just a n as equals to one over two pi i a closed contour integral of f of z to the uh, divided by z minus z naught to the n plus 1 power dz. Now, even if f of z is not analytic <coughs> at z naught, it may be analytic uh, away from z naught. So, so long as we can find a, um, so, so long as we can find a region of the complex plane, around z naught, where f of z is analytic, we can always define such contour integrals. 
and therefore we make use of this ability to define closed contour integrals as a way to, as a means to define the Laurent series expansion coefficients a n and um, in the next video segment we shall see how we can make use of these Laurent series expansion uh, expansion coefficients to classify singularities the kind of singularities that we will encounter uh, for a function f of z of the complex variable z.